All right, hello all you IME students. We're going to be going over DEA e-learning today. So an overview of DEA, uh, it's a comparative approach for identifying relative performance of similar systems, and it shows areas for improvement for non-maximized systems. So some terminology uh, you need to know is uh, DEA stands for Data Envelopment Analysis. DMU uh, is Decision Making Unit. It's a set of similar systems you want to compare. Your input, input variables are any variables you want to reduce, and your output variables are any variables you want to increase. Your efficiency is the level of DMU performance. So some importance of variable separation. Uh, efficiency is based on the ratio of outputs and inputs. Mixing up inputs and outputs is catastrophic. So the equation for efficiency is output over input. Uh, if you increase your number of inputs and outputs, you're going to need more powerful software. And then this uh, outlined red uh, line here is called the frontier. It uh, shows what the most efficient DMUs are in your um, equations. So the importance of outputs, uh, if a DMU leads at least one output, it will always end up on the frontier. So for our example, we're going to go over uh, a couple banks and their uh, efficiency levels. So uh, for this first part of the example, we're going to go over um, just if there's one input and one output. So this uh, shows the... Uh, the personal transactions for four different banks and the corresponding number of staff members for each of those banks. All right. Um, so first what you want to do is you want to find out the ratios uh, for these different banks. Um, so the way you do that is you take um, some output measure and divide it by the input measure. So for our branch bank example, we have a single input measure, the number of staff, and a single output measure, the number of personal transactions. Um, so these numbers corresponding to the branches are our uh, ratios. Here we see that Croydon has the highest ratio of personal transactions per staff member, whereas Rygate has the lowest ratio of personal transactions per staff member. As Croy Don has the highest ratio of nine point or six point nine four, we can compare all other branches to it and calculate their relative efficiencies with respect to Croy Don. To do this, we divide the ratio for any branch by six point nine four and multiply by hundred to convert to a percentage. This gives us these percentages here. The other branches do not compare well with Croy Don, so are presumably performing less well. That is, they are relatively less efficient at using their given input resource to produce output. All right. So, however, many uh, examples are going to have more than one input or output. Um, the, the, we'll extend the example here. So there will be two inputs and one output. So the added input will be business transactions in addition to the personal transactions. So now we can compare these branches and measure their performance using this data. As before, we're going to use uh, the method of ratios, um, but instead of having a single uh, input, we're going to have two inputs and one output, or one input and two outputs. So in this next slide, we see the uh, personal transaction per staff member ratio and the business transaction per staff member ratio. We can see that Croydon again has the highest ratio of personal transactions per staff. However, Red Hill has the highest ratio of business transactions per staff member. Dorking and Rygate do not compare so well with Croydon and Red Hill, so our 
pre presumably performing less well. That is, they are relatively less efficient at using their given input resource, which is staff members, to produce output, uh, the personal and business transactions. All right, so now to go on to the graphical analysis. Um, we see here, as we talked about earlier with the, uh, the frontier line, when we extend from the y-axis uh, to the uh, outermost point, we um, intersect with uh, Croydon. And when we extend from the x-axis, uh, we it hits Red Hill. And this line right here is the frontier line. As you can see, Croydon and Red Hill are the two uh, most efficient. All right. So that concludes our Croydon and Red Hill example. Now you are ready to begin your own DEA experiments.